Good morning, my darlings. You got a whole snow day. But Miss Moe's going to kind of ruin it by doing a little screencast for you. Don't worry, I promise to keep it under 10 minutes. But I just wanted to give you the lesson that I would have given you in class today if we had had school. I'm going to ask you to watch the video and then I'm going to ask you to just do a little bit of work to check your own um, so that we can kind of keep up with things when we get back to school. So here's the agenda for today. I'm going to do a three slide presentation on the attributes of a strong editorial question. After I do that and you watch the video, I'm going to ask that you open up your own document that you created in class yesterday called My Topic. It's inside your editorial unit folder. And I want you to take what you learned in my video and use it to evaluate the quality of your own editorial question. Yesterday in class, many of you, not all of you, but many of you were able to write down the editorial question or a couple that you think you might want to write your editorial about. Today I want you to evaluate the quality of it, see if it meets the criteria, and if not, I want you to use time today to refine it, make sure it does meet all the criteria, so when we get back to school we can roll right on. I'll come back and talk about these last pieces here at the end. So here we go with the presentation. Get ready, get your brain ready to think about your editorial question. I want you to take a look at the list of three editorial questions on the left and the list of three editorial questions on the right. Take a moment, read them to yourself, and see if you can tell the difference between these two lists. Okay, you should be feeling that there's a difference. You should be feeling that the list on the right is better, that the list on the right, that these are stronger editorial questions than these over here on the left. Maybe you can't articulate why exactly, but something in you should be telling you that they're just, they're not strong questions. They're not appropriate editorial questions on the left. So now I'm going to show you why. When we look at the first one, for example, is jousting a sport? This isn't relevant. The reason it's not an appropriate editorial question, it's not relevant. <coughs> that means that it's not something that's um, timely. Uh, it's not something people are debating right now. Most people aren't jousting unless you work at the Renaissance Festival. It's not an issue that people are dealing with right now, so it's not relevant. It's also not appropriate as an editorial question because it's not really seeking to affect any kind of change or influence any kind of policy. And we know that that's what editorials are seeking out to do. Let's take a look at this one, whether or not our family should get a cat talked about this briefly yesterday, but this question is an example of a question that is too narrow or too individual. It's far too specific to an individual family. It's not an issue that families in general are dealing with. So we need to make sure that whatever editorial question you've chosen, that it is an issue that an entire community disagrees on or has differences of opinions on, not just a very small group within a community. Okay. And finally, looking at this last one, who is the greatest college quarterback of all time? It's not appropriate because it's not seeking to influence change of an existing practice policy or law. A editorial question must be looking to do that. Maybe there is a common practice, something that takes place, it's not written down, it's not policy or law, but it's just generally the practice that most people in this community are following, and you want to raise their awareness, and you want to ask them to question it. This question, greatest college quarterback of all time, is just looking at you know your preferences and what criteria you're using to evaluate that could be different from somebody else and it, it's not really looking to change anything. Okay, So we need to make sure that our editorial questions are doing this. Let me go back to that previous slide and look at those uh, editorial questions I had on the right. Should homework be graded? Should students be given the choice to take assessments on the iPad or on paper? Should 8th graders automatically make varsity teams at ACDS? Each of these questions is relevant. 
These are timely issues that are present in our lives today. These are issues that affect a community of people, not just a very specific group within that community. There are m many people that are affected by these issues. And finally, these all these all these questions are are potentially seeking to influence change and influence the way people think about some kind of existing practice or policy. So finally, here's what I want you to do. You're not going to share your editorial topic with a partner because we're not in school, but you could share it with somebody at home if you want someone to help look at it and think this through with you. I want you to open up that document in your Google Drive and I want you to measure it your editorial question that you wrote down on the my topic document I want you to measure it against the three criteria over here on the right is it a relevant issue is it current is it timely is it a relevant issue that a community of people are dealing with and disagree on and is it seeking to influence change to an existing practice policy or law The last thing I want to say is that your editorial topic needs to be something that you have a lot of first-hand knowledge about. This is not going to be a research paper. Yes, you can look up maybe some information from some other sources, maybe some statistics if that will support you, but it has to be something you're already knowledgeable about quite a bit because perhaps you've lived it. And let's think about it this way. I told you that this editorial is going to be an opportunity for you to use your voice to bring up an issue that you really care about. I want you to pick something that matters to you. Don't waste your time. Don't just do this assess assignment and write this piece just to do it because you have to for class and just pick something. That's a waste of your time and your effort. This is an opportunity for you to possibly really change something that you see needs some change or get people thinking about or talking about something that you think they should be talking about. So choose something you're passionate about. And if you're passionate about it, you probably already know a lot. Otherwise, why would you feel so passionately if you didn't know anything about it? So look at your editorial question. Is it something you are really knowledgeable about? Do you really care about it? And does it meet the three criteria on the right? Okay, good luck. Enjoy your snow day. And I can't wait to see you when we get back to school.